This is a probability question which refers to a geometric random variable. We are being given the mass function. The fact that it's called mass function and that the outcome, outcomes are 1, 2, 3 and so forth clearly indicates that this is a discrete random variable. So we are given the, uh, the mass function, so the probability of a particular outcome little y there's this little formula here, we have one parameter theta and we are asked to confirm that the cumulative distribution function is as given. So this is what we need to do. We need to link the mass function to the cumulative distribution function. So let's first just copy the mass function. Okay, The probability for a particular outcome y is 1 minus theta times theta to the power of y minus 1. I should note here that sometimes if you look for uh, a geometric distribution you can see that it's defined for outcomes actually starting at zero rather than one. You can define it either way or you can define geometric functions either way and uh, depends possibly on the type of problem you're interested in. So here we are starting with uh, one that's the lowest possible outcome. So now the CDF function, so that's a capital P for Y, is as it is a mass function, is the sum of the probabilities for the lowest income up to the probability for the uh, for outcome Y. Now we can write down the formula for each of these. So probability for the first outcome is one minus theta times one, for Y equals two is one minus theta times theta, all the way up to 1 minus theta times theta to the power of y minus 1. Okay, and that's according to the given mass function. Now we can factor out a 1 minus theta here uh, to make this somewhat more manageable. And we get 1 minus theta times 1 plus theta plus theta squared all the way to plus theta to the power of y minus 1. Now this bit here is also what we call a uh, geometric series okay, or a geometric progression. And there's a short solution for this or a, a little formula that gives us the solution for this. I don't know that from the top of my, um, uh, from top of my head, so what I need to do is I uh, check it up somewhere, even a book, or you check, for instance, MathWorld, and I really like that source for these sorts of things. So here's a series that looks exactly the same, and here's a solution. I just copy it. I assume that you will have a look when you need that yourself and look at it in detail. I did. So you, you sometimes need to look in detail to find exactly the right formula. So here, that green part is exactly the same as 1 minus theta to the power of y divided by 1 minus theta and then these 1 minus thetas cancel out and what we are left with is, is 1 minus theta to the y which is exactly the solution we were already given but now we know where it comes from so we found the right solution.